G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the last bit of NRL content I've brought out, the NRL tipping, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, next week is going to be a huge week for me. I plan on dropping at least three videos next week. So yeah, I'm really excited to do that. It's actually probably, you're probably going to get a video on Sunday, um, which I'm technically going to class as next week. Um, so there'll be a video on Sunday going over my Queensland Rugby League uh, team predictions. Then on probably maybe Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to drop my uh, uh, an NBA rebuild for you guys. Haven't done one of them in a while. So yeah, very excited for that. And then probably on Thursday there, I'll drop off my... Uh, State of Origin Game 2 predictions. And yeah, it's going to be a huge week for me, guys. I'm, yeah, getting right back into grinding these videos out for you. But today's video, we're going over my mid to just after mid AFL ladder predictions. So I've got my ladder predictions up here. You guys will see it. I'm currently looking at them. So that's why I'm not going to be always looking at the camera. But yeah, so it'll be my top eight predictions. And I'll run through why I think uh, these teams will make the eight. So starting off, I have the Richmond Tigers at eighth. Now, a lot of you are probably going to disagree with me on this. But it was close. They nearly dropped out of the eight for me. I have not been that impressed with the Tigers. I think they've reached their peak and it's starting to fall now. So, yeah, I see the Tigers just finishing eighth there. Um, Frio and I think GWS are my ninth and tenth teams. So it was pretty close. I actually think Frio either came down with um, 52 wins, uh, 52 wins, 52 points or 48. It was very close. And GWS with their draw finished with 46 points there. But, yeah, Richmond... Do slide into eighth spot for me. Uh, I think they possibly, unless they make some moves in the off season, I think they could actually fall out next year. Then it's the Swans. I actually had the Swans at the start of the year, I think coming about 15th or 16th. So now they are in my eight. So I have them at seventh spot. Pretty crazy. I never thought I would have the Swans in my top eight, but they've been remarkable. So, yeah, they get my uh, eighth spot there, uh, seventh spot, sorry. Uh, next up, we have the West Coast Eagles. Uh, my team, yeah, the Eagles. Thought I would have them higher, personally, but they got a few tough games coming up, and they're going to finish the year with a game against the Brisbane Lions. And I think the Lions will get a win there. So, yeah, the, uh, the Eagles are finishing sixth for me. The next one is crazy between five to two, all finishing on the same wins, but uh, it's, the, it's the point differential that changes how they all stand. So I've got Port Adelaide dropping down to fifth spot. I don't think they will make the top four. They've got a fairly tough sort of run home. Um, it's just the, the teams that they do get wins against for me won't be massive um, massive wins. They're going to be fairly close. Next up, we've got Geelong. Again, they're going to be pretty competitive. They'll get a few good wins here and there. But yeah, I don't see them going uh, crazy and making that top three. I think the next three teams will be the teams to beat in 2021. That is the Melbourne Demons. So I think the Demons, they got a few difficult games in their last three. So I think they will lose two out of three of those ones. And that will drop them down into third spot with the Bulldogs jumping up to second. I think, uh, yeah, that they'll finish the year pretty strong. But uh, in my number one spot and winning the minor premiership, I have the Brisbane Lions. I think they're really starting to find form now and they are going to be the form team of 2021. So, yeah, guys, I think the Lions have a pretty easy run home and I do believe they will, uh, they will win the minor premiership. Now going forward, let's go through my elimination predictions. Port Adelaide versus Richmond. I think Port Adelaide are going to be too good there. They're going to win that one. Uh, West Coast versus St Kilda. 
I think West Ah sorry, St Kilda. West Coast versus Sydney. I think West Coast will get the win there. They prove they can be pretty good against Sydney, and they're really good at home. West Coast don't lose many at Optus Stadium. Uh, yeah, so Port Adelaide and West Coast get through for me there. Next one, I think uh, in the qualifying finals, Lions should beat Geelong there, so they'll move straight through to the preliminaries, which means I believe uh, that'll be Geelong versus Port Adelaide. Don't know. I can't remember how it all works with that system, but I do believe uh, Geelong will play Port Adelaide then. And I think going to back the Bulldogs to beat the D's there. So Bulldogs and Lions will move to the preliminary finals. Demons will play West Coast and Geelong Port Adelaide. So I'm backing I think uh, Port Adelaide could beat Geelong there. I'm going to go with that one. I'm back in Port Adelaide. I think they'll beat the Cats. It'll be a very close game. But yeah, back in Port Adelaide there. So they will play the Western Bulldogs in the preliminary final. And then I think I'm going to go Melbourne. As much as I hate to say it, I'm going to back Melbourne to beat West Coast. So the Ds will play the Lions in the preliminary finals. So we've got the Lions versus the Demons and the Bulldogs versus Port Adelaide. Backing uh, Port Adelaide there to win that one. Hang on, have I got that right? Port Adelaide versus the Dogs. Yes, I think so. I've just I've just confused myself. That's all good. Port Adelaide versus the Dogs and Brisbane versus Melbourne. That's right. Back in uh, back in the oh, I don't know now. I've I've really confused myself. I think that I think it'll be a Dogs Lions Grand Final. That's my prediction. And I think we're going to see the Lions win their first Grand Final in a long damn time. So yeah, guys, my final predictions there. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Mid-season predictions are done. If you haven't grabbed one, please try and get one of these beanies. It goes to an awesome foundation. And yeah, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.